It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see which conference reigns supreme tonight. It's going to be a good one on Monday night. The Florida humidity is certain to be a factor in this one. There's no other way to say it, really. It is hot. It is humid here at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gunn with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball from both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. Here's Will Lutz ready to get this one started. And off we go from Tampa. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42. Great return. Well, the Bucks getting ready to go on offense for the first time, and it's Baker Mayfield leading him out in his second season as a Buccaneer and his seventh overall. And he had a most impressive bounce-back season last year, nearly leading his team to the NFC Championship game. That's not something you see every day, and he was rewarded for it as Tampa Bay decided to make him definitely their quarterback for the future. Now for him, he wants to prove it's not a one-year thing, and in fact, he is the long-term answer for this franchise. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage, second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Mayfield to throw it. All right, rifles run, and that's gonna be intercepted. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they've got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. So now here are the Broncos to take over on offense, led out by their rookie quarterback, drafted 12th overall, Bo Nix out of Oregon. And he really established himself as one of the best quarterbacks in the country a season ago. 45 touchdown passes and only three interceptions. A dynamic athlete, processes a lot of information in a short amount of time, and puts his team in a great position to win on each and every down. You don't break the NCAA record with highest completion percentage without having all those attributes. And I think they'll translate very well in Denver. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And I think he just wanted to get the ball to one of his playmakers to see if they can make something happen. But he ends up throwing into a crowded area. And after the catch, he isn't able to do much with it. A first carry now. This is Williams. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They run it again with Williams. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. So a rocky, rocky start on both sides offensively. Turnovers exchanged. Uh, I saw what you did there. What I do? Rocky, 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 rocky. too rocky. I, I saw that. I got it. And, uh, you know, and right now, they're, they're carrying it around like they are wearing boxing gloves. If we're going to have that kind of a reference, they've got to get it together and start playing a little bit better ball. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception, 
What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Here's a second and three now from the 33. Play fake. Mayfield. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, he usually gets it done. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. They defer to White out of the shotgun. No gain on the play there. Second down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the gun, Mayfield. Over the middle, complete. It's Johnson. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stop him short. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and the Bucs take a 3-0 lead. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Next to the air. Yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Well, congratulations to them. They come through defensively with another stop. And let's face it, this secondary, they've gone unchallenged so far in the first half. Here's Nix. That's complete. It's Greg Dulcich. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Working out of the gun is Nix. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Next to throw again. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. He can't get him down. And the Buccaneers are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Well, this is something we've seen before, partner. We've seen a defense beat a rookie pretend to leave a window open, and then the defensive back jumped it as soon as the ball was released. Big-time play. They love taking advantage of the youngsters, and in this case, it paid off well. And yeah, Tampa Bay trots out there now. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and 10. The Buccaneers in good field position here to start out first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. The pass is caught by Kate Otten, and he gets this inside the 35-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, 
But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. That's completed right side to Palmer. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Throwing, Mayfield. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Mayfield now. He'll buy some time right. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. Now Mayfield. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Right back to Chris Godwin. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. White will score. Touchdown, Buccaneers. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was Rashad White who wrapped the drive up with a touchdown run. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Broncos going to get one more possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he loses the football a second time. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Second time he's fumbled in this game. Fortunate for him, this one goes out of bounds. And the key for him now is how much equity have you built up with your coaching staff? How much equity have you built up with your team to continue to get opportunities? Fortunate that one went out of bounds, saved him from a turnover. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Marvin Mims as the first half is winding down. And the Broncos are on the board here in the final seconds of the first half. So on this drive, the rookie leads him into the end zone, Charles, and that helps cancel out the points that were created on the previous drive when he threw the interception. Yeah, let's give some credit to this rookie because instead of hanging his head after his mistake leads to a touchdown, he comes back out, and he's firing and made up for it right there. A well-executed series that helps reestablish some confidence in him to run this offense. Lutz good on the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And they may just be content to take this three-point lead and head into the locker room. He's going to float this over the middle deep. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight. So they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. And that's going to be incomplete. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. 
As we send you a stone's throw away across I-4 to Orlando, they're standing by as Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? It was a solid first half for the running back, Rashad White. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. A good, tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And the Broncos offense set to begin this third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Mims in motion left. And they'll fake the jet sweep, but instead of give up the middle to Williams. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down and eight. Operating from the gun. Here's Nix. Slant pass. He's got Reynolds. That'll go for a gain of seven. And now one yard to go on third down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Pass taken in by his big tight end, and he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard, stop short of the 35. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that's going to bring up third and two. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Tampa. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. From the gun on third down, it's Nix. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. I think we just saw that there. Well, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. To throw is Nix. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Josh Reynolds, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Broncos have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. 
Those are the types of plays in these moments they were hoping for from this young rookie, able to put him up here in the fourth quarter. How about the kid? You just mentioned it. The fourth quarter. This is when you have to make those winning plays. That's what he just did. Doesn't ensure anything, but he certainly gave his team a heck of a chance, didn't he? Lux with the extra point, and the lead is now 14 to 10. That time, a nine-play drive, and it ends with a Denver touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. That's complete to his receiver, Gadwin. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. They'll come up first and ten here. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Mayfield. Got a man downfield. It's Otten. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Oh, and this is a touchdown or bust drive, and that will definitely help their cause. What a time to come up with a play like that. And now, plenty of time to try and finish this drive in the end zone and take the lead. Here's first and goal. Now Mayfield being chased out. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Baker Mayfield, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Buccaneers answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. Touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And this return going to come to a quick end as he is belted at the end of that one. The Broncos offense and Bo Nix getting set for this next possession. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. This is first and ten. Back to throw. And he lost the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. They'll come up now on second down. He's back to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. 
that he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They will run with White out of the shotgun. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Opting to run again here with White. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They got to get to the 23 here on third. Mayfield. That is caught. And he is going to have a Bucks first down. All smiles on that sideline. That should be the one to do it. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. They're able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. It's second down. But you know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Well, so far, this game has gone the way the defensive coordinator had hoped. They've dictated things. They've not let him run the ball very well at all. They gave up a nice game there. I doubt it'll back off their confidence. They've played so well throughout this entire game. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead, that home field advantage. I think it helped fuel all of what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Bucks are winners here as we say so long from Tampa.